Flyers hosting the Predators, and the Predators are minus 106 on the money line. The Flyers are minus 113. The over-under, five and a half goals. The Predators getting a goal and a half on the puck line are minus 265, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Flyers laying a goal and a half on the puck line are plus 215, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two goals or more. Now, this is their second meeting between each other this year. The Predators won the first one 3-2 to two in overtime at home. Head-to-head, -head, the Predators are on a two-game winning streak. They are 7-3 and three against the Flyers in their last 10. The favorites won the last two games. The favorite is 5-5 five and five on the money line. The underdog getting a goal and a half on the puck line is 9-1. and one. There have been eight one-goal games in their last 10, including the last two that they've played against each other. The under is hitting their last three. The under is 7-3. and three. The under 5.5 goals is 7-3. and three. The home team is 6-4. and four. It's supposed to be Soros and Hart. Neither goaltender has been confirmed for tomorrow's game. The Predators are 4-1 and one in their last five. There was five goals, 11 goals, four goals, and seven goals. Three goals in an overtime win, six goals in an overtime win, three goals in a win, two goals in a loss. And I don't understand how the Canucks were an underdog in that game, but it happens. And for the Flyers, they're on a three-game winning streak. They are 3-1 and one in their last four. Five goals, seven goals, one goal, five goals. The last four games that the Flyers have played have been one-goal games, and three out of the four of those games have gone into overtime or a shootout. Two goals in a loss, which was to the Predators, four goals in a shootout win, one goal in a win, and then three goals in an overtime win. I'm taking the Predators with the money line. I'm going to take the Predators getting the goals, and I'm going to go under. The Flyers play great defense, and they're one of the best teams at blocking shots. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.